Hey guys, we are back with our new video. If you are new and haven't watched the previous video, I have provided the link in the description. Go and watch the video. In this video, we will learn about the sketch that how to make sketch in the SOLIDWORKS and about 2D and 3D sketching. So let's start. Go to new, open the part file. So after opening the part file you will get this interface so click on the sketch tab because you are going to start sketching so you have to click on sketch tab there are two type of sketch 2d sketch and 3d sketch 2d sketch requires a plane to draw like if we will not select any plane our 2d sketch will not be enabled like this and 3d sketch did not require any plane it can be drawn anywhere in the interface like this so with 3d sketch we can make different complex geometries first of all we will start with 2d sketch and then move toward 3d sketch so select the sketch button and select any plane on which you want to draw your view like you are going to draw front view select front plane if you are going to draw crop view select top plane so we are going to select front plane like if you are seeing your origin like this and not a normal to your interface you just go and click normal to button like this now your plane is normal to the observer like this if you are again going to move it again press this normal to button okay let's start with our first command our first command is line there are three lines line center line and midpoint first of all we will select line so look by hovering the mouse button on line you can see that what it is saying sketch is a line click to place the start point drag and release when the lines line is the correct length you can also use two clicks to place the start and end points so let's draw the line click the button and drag drag to the point uh, of the lens you want like i will drag it up to here and again click so you have draw the line and the next line will start it from the point you have ended like this so like this you can make any shape and from any point to any reference like this so this was our line command we will check extra feature related to line command to select the line command and you are seeing the you are seeing orientation from here if you will select horizontal the line will make horizontal and from here you can set the dimension like if you want the length of the line of 50 centimeter select this and just click anywhere like this so you have got your line you don't have to drag or you want to do something else you just have to enter the dimension and select horizontal from here to add the relation this yellow box is this line is horizontal or this line is vertical so like this like the horizontal vertical command is of the same type you just click and set the dimension and you have got the vertical line So this was our line command. This is our center line. 
that if you want to make center line to make reference like this so it will work as a reference line to any shape or command our next command is midpoint line so when we click the button and drag it will move on from two, two sides giving same dimension each side like if it is 33.2 from one side it is 33.2 from other side too so this is our midpoint line so this was our line command let's move on to circle so this is the center circle you will select one point and it the circle will be made around it like this after clicking you can select the radius from here like this if you want to set the uh, arc length or radius of 50, uh, 40 centimeter you can type here and check and select the enter or select this tick box so you have got a circle like this now we will see what's in the circle the other type of circle is a perimeter circle the perimeter circle will be made when you select three points like one two and three so we will check it again if you draw the points you want of different dimensions like this so the perimeter circle will be useful for this purpose like this this is the working of perimeter circle for construction what this option do is it makes your entities or lines as a reference so it will not count in the close geometry or entities it will just work as a reference you can make a construction line for any of the shape line or like this so this was our basic 2d sketching tutorial stay tuned for the next video